Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is Technology Made Basic and today's video topic will be on multitasking. So multitasking in reference to Windows 10. Uh, so before we, we begin, let us simply define the term multitasking when it comes to computing. So simply put, it's the, execu the execution of more than one program or task simultaneously or performing more than one uh, task at a time. So we're just going to go over some of the multitasking features that's included with Windows 10. So let's go ahead and open up this article. I'm going to reference this article in the description. So if you want to follow along, just check the description for the links to all these articles that I'm going to go over. So this one is get more done with multitasking in Windows 10. So learn three different ways to multitask and use multiple desktops in Windows 10. So the first one is select uh, the task view icon on the taskbar or press uh, alt tab on your on your keyboard to see apps or switch between them. So we'll go over that. And also uh, to use, uh, let's go ahead and highlight that again. To use two or more apps at a time, grab the top of an app window and drag it to the side, then choose another app and it will automatically snap into place. We'll go over the snap feature in Windows 10 as well. And create different desktops uh, for home or work by selecting new desktop and then opening the apps you want to use. So this can really be, this can really come into handy when it, uh, when you have like a single display. So if you're on a laptop with just a single screen, or you're at a desktop PC that only has a single monitor, uh, this new desktop feature creates this virtual desktop that allows you to extend and uh, multitask between back and forth between uh, one screen and another. And we'll demonstrate that in just a bit. So, but before we go over the multitasking options in Windows 10, I do want to talk about uh, the task view and how to get to it, because this is how we're going to adjust some of the uh, multitasking options. So the task view button is going to be on your taskbar. So it's going to be down here on the bottom left, typically by the search. So that's the task view button. If you don't see that, you may end up having to act to activate it, to enable it. So to do that, you can do a right click on your taskbar, anywhere you don't uh, necessarily have an icon. And from here, it's going to bring up this context menu. And we want to make sure that show task view button is, is selected. So we want to make sure that's enabled or we're not going to see it. So if we unselect that, it's gone. So just make sure that that is selected. And the other way you can uh, open up task view is by the keyboard shortcut. You can use the uh, Windows button, uh, the Windows key and tab. So hold down the Windows key and press tab. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. So that's uh, that's actually the task view screen here with uh, the different options that we're going to uh, go over in just a moment. So if we just hit escape on the keyboard or click somewhere on the desktop, it'll get us out of that view. Now to check the multitasking options in Windows 10, uh, if we do a right click on the start uh, icon or start button on the bottom left on the taskbar and we click on system, let's go ahead and click there. And from here, let's click on multitasking on the left hand side. And here we have different options for multitasking in Windows 10. So you can work with multiple uh, windows. So that snap windows. And here it, it, uh, you can enable and disable that feature and you can adjust some of these settings. Uh, so when I snap a window, automatically size it to fit available space. Yep, we want that. When I snap a window, show what I can snap next to it. Yep, we want that. And when I resize a snapped window, simultaneously resize uh, any adjacent snap window. Yes, we want that. So these settings I think are on by default. Uh, the timeline uh, show suggestions in your timeline. We're gonna kind of show you what that is in just a moment. Alt tab, Alt tab is another way to kind of switch between uh, the different windows that you have that are uh, active. So you have some different options here that you can choose from. Um, they're kind of self-explanatory on what you can do. So, but let me just kind of demonstrate Alt tab. So if I do, if I hold down the Alt, A-L-T uh, key on my keyboard, so the Alt key and then uh, press the tab, you're gonna, it's gonna bring up the Alt tab uh, view or, or window. And from here, if I, if I keep the Alt key depressed and then I just hit tab, I can toggle between the different uh, windows that I want and um, select and open up uh, like an, another active window that I have maybe minimized. So I just kind of want to show you, that, show you that. That's Alt plus Tab. Snap your windows. Let's go ahead and kind of demonstrate what this is talking about. So Snap, uh, snap makes it easier uh, to neatly organize your open windows on your desktop so you can quickly access the things that are important to you when you need them. You can snap or uh, you can snap to arrange all your open windows using the mouse keyboard or the Snap Assist feature. So that just goes over the uh, how to use that snap feature. So let's go ahead and minimize this and kind of demonstrate that. So let's just say I wanted to have uh, two windows side by side. Let's go ahead and open up this browser again and just make it a little bit smaller. And let's open up 
these settings. Let's just say I kind of wanted to view these two windows side by side. In order to do it with a mouse, you just kind of hold the window and drag it to the left. And when I do that, you can kind of see this transparent window in the background that kind of high, kind of splits the, the window in half. So if I let go of that window, that's this is this is the snap feature. So you're going to get the the window that you were trying to snap uh, to that place. If you let it go, it's going to snap into place evenly. It's going to resize automatically, which is those settings that we were looking at. And let's just say I want to look at the multitasking. Let's click that, and it's going to resize that automatically as well. Um, again, it, a lot of the, a lot of this works the way it works because these settings are enabled here. So now let's just say I wanted to kind of snap my window in in quarter, so in fours. Uh, for even spaces. So in order to do this, I find it a little bit easier to do it with the keyboard. So in order to, to snap with a keyboard, what you want to do is you want to hold down again the Windows key, just keep it held, and you want to use the arrow keys to, to snap your windows into place. So let's just go ahead and minimize this. And let's just say this is the window that I wanted to kind of snap to the left and do the same thing. I just hold down the Windows key again on my keyboard. And I believe if I use the left key, it'll see it snap it into, into place on the left-hand side. And if I let go of the Windows key, it's going to bring me the options for the other windows that I have active. So let's go ahead and open up this multitasking tasking again. And I did the same thing, except this time with the keyboard. Now, again, if I wanted to do uh, have you know four equal screens on one screen, uh, let's just let's go ahead and do that. So the one that I have active right now is going to be this multitasking. So if I hold down the Windows key. And uh, I believe I hit the up arrow, it's going to make it smaller. And if I let it go, it's going to let me select uh, another window. So let's select the Microsoft Store. It's going to snap into place here evenly. So it's going to be two evenly split windows on top of each other. And let's go ahead and click on the left hand side on the left window, which is the browser and do the same thing. Hold down the Windows key, hit the up arrow key, let go and select something else to snap into that bottom left corner. So downloads uh, File Explorer. So as you can see, it's uh, it's really easy. You, you can do it with the mouse as well. So you kind of have to like hold down the window. So click the window, the app that you want to snap into place and go down to let's if I want to do the bottom left here, for example, I want to almost get it to like the corner, the, the bottom left corner and then let it go. And then it's going to snap uh, because if, again, if I do it this way, watch what's going to happen. It's just going to override the other one and snap this one into place. So it's kind of hard to explain, kind of tricky, but it's a lot more difficult to do with the mouse to get all four. So again, I would recommend using the, the keyboard. So uh, just hold down the, so this one is the one that's selected now. So hold down the Windows key and let's hit down and it's going to snap it evenly into place. So there I go. I have my four quadrants, four different windows that I can work with. Um, so you can have four different uh, browser windows open. Let's just, for example, let's minimize all this. Let's separate the browser. Let's take away this tab. And let's take away this tab and let's take away this tab. So now we have four different uh, browser sessions open. So this one's kind of already split on the top left. Let's do this one. Hold down the Windows key. And I just hit the, the right key to snap it to the left. And now I want to go up with it to snap it in the top right corner. So this one and the bottom left corner. So let's just snap it to the left first. Again, hold down the Windows key, hit the left arrow and then down. And then last but not least, select any of these, we'll select this. So now you can have four active browser windows open side by side and just kind of click on whichever one you want to view to kind of, you know, go up and down. If I want to view this, I uh, just want to make sure that you select it with the with your mouse pointer, mouse clicker. So that's the snap, which allows you again to, to do the uh, multitasking uh, all in one screen. But let's just say you wanted to get some of these over like on a different screen. Uh, let's go back to that task view. So let's use the keyboard shortcut. Again, a lot, a lot of these features work really well with keyboard shortcuts. So that's what I would recommend to use. So hold down the Windows key and hit Tab to bring up Task View again. And what we want to do now is separate some of this stuff to, to not have uh, so much clutter on one screen. So let's bring up this. Uh, on, top, on the top left, you have this plus sign with the new desktop. Let's click that. And so now I have my one uh, desktop here that's currently active. And I have my other desktop here that has nothing. So if I click on it, I can go to a nice clean uh, desktop. And as you can see on the taskbar on the bottom, nothing nothing is open. Now, if I wanted to be able to see the stuff that's open on the primary on the first screen, on this left screen, uh, I can do that. So let's go ahead and Alt-Tab. 
or sorry, not Alt tab, uh, Windows tab. And let's switch back to desktop one. And from here, let's go back into our, uh, our settings for multitasking. And let's just keep it small, I guess, why not? And what I want to do is see on the taskbar, show windows that are open on. Right now, it's only uh, the desktop I'm using. But let's go ahead and just say all desktops. So that way, we can see everything that's actively open on all desktops. Go back to Windows tab for task view. Go back to desktop two. And now on the bottom here, I can see uh, the things that are open on the other desktop. Whereas before, so let me go ahead and switch back. Switch back to the default settings, only the desktop I'm using. Go back to Windows tab, desktop two. As you can see, I can't, there's nothing actively open on this desktop. So that feature there allows you to uh, see everything across all your desktops. So you may want to do this for, for both with the Alt tab and also the uh, the multiple uh, des the multiple windows uh, across all desktops. So this is the setting that I prefer. So now when I go back to uh, Windows tab, do the task view and click on desktops, now I can see what's open on all my screens, no matter how many screens I have. So it's kind of easier to demonstrate than, than to say. So again, we just went over the snap feature, uh, creating a new desktop. Let's just say I wanted to add some of these uh, screens over or some of these displays over to the secondary uh, desktop. So again, I go to Windows tab and I want to take this one. And if I do a right click over it, it's, I got a couple of different options. But what I want is I want to move to desktop two. And let's move uh, the Microsoft Store to desktop two as well. So now if we go over to desktop two, I have this uh, browser window that I sent over. And I also sent over the Microsoft Store. So this is going to open in desktop two. I notice that I can see the stuff that's open on all the screens. But if if I haven't sent it over, for example, I haven't sent over Power Toys to desktop. It's not on desktop two. So if I select Power Toys, watch what happens. I'm back. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm back on desktop one. So desktop one is the one that's highlighted. So that's that's where I'm at. So you can easily toggle. That's why I, I like having uh, this feature enabled here where it says on the taskbar, show windows that are open on all desktops because it allows you to easily go back and forth to the different virtual desktops that you have uh, within the task view. So instead of hitting the Windows key tab, just kind of switch back and forth. Uh, you can just, uh, you know, the stuff that you sent over to two. So let's go back and I believe I sent the store over to two. So if I click on this, I'm back in desktop two. So you can easily just kind of switch over from desktop, you know, one to desktop two uh, by uh, splitting the stuff and kind of displaying the stuff in, in different desktops. So I hope you understood that. It's, it is kind of confusing. Uh, but again, uh, so if I want to go back to desktop one, these are all, even though I'm able to view them here, they're all actually uh, loaded in only desktop one. So if I click, well, actually not, well, not all of them, but this one is here. So let's click on that one. And I'm back in desktop one. So that's what, again, that's what these uh, this feature allows you to do. So I would recommend, my recommendation is to set it to all desktops. So you can easily toggle back and forth. So I believe that does cover everything I wanted to kind of go over in this video. So again, if you click the uh, task view button here, just make sure it's enabled. Click that. That's going to allow you to see everything that's, that's active. Uh, escape. If you hit the alt, hold down alt and hit tab, it allows you to quickly toggle back and forth. So from here, I'll be able to easily toggle to my second uh, desktop by going choosing the Microsoft Store because that's where we sent it. It's the second desktop. And voila, it's on the second desktop. So it's less clutter. Uh, you can also so let's go ahead and switch back to do the alt tab again, switch to something that's on the primary desktop, which is that. Um, so yeah, so you can kind of toggle back and forth. You can do more than one desktop. You can uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. So if we hit the Windows tab. Go ahead and open up a new one. And now we can send something over to a third desktop if we wanted to. So as you can see, kind of like the sky's the limit with like multitasking and what, what you can and can't do. If you want to take this to a higher level and become a quote unquote power user, so do some more advanced features, there is an application that Microsoft provides freely called Microsoft Power Toys. So let's go ahead and open that up. You may have seen that earlier when I clicked on it. Uh, so Microsoft Power Toys is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity, 
uh, made by Microsoft and uh, the Power Toys community. So as you can see here on the left hand side, it comes with a plethora, just a ton of different features. What I wanted to show you in Power Toys, and this is going to be a second video, it's not going to be part of this video, but I just kind of wanted to preview it, is uh, Fancy Zones. So if we click on this, so Fancy Zones, Fancy Zones, hard for me to say, I do have uh, an article that goes over Fancy Zones, uh, this article here. So Fancy Zones is a great uh, Windows, let's just highlight this to kind of see it better is a Windows Manager utility for arranging and snapping windows into, into efficient layouts to improve your uh, workflow and restore layouts quickly. You can define a set of zones, uh, locations to use as targets for windows in your desktop. When you drag a window uh, into a zone or enter the associated keyboard shortcut, the window is resized and repositioned to fill that zone. So it goes into like snapping and it kind of takes it to a whole nother level. Um, so this article kind of talks about uh, and goes over a little bit of, of what fancy zones can do. And you can kind of customize the different layouts. A lot of this is Windows 11, uh, which I'm going to have a Windows 11 uh, video on the same thing, multitasking and also Power Toys eventually. Um, but as you can see, you can choose and have custom different layouts uh, to make it easier. So Power Toys, I'm going to have a whole entire series of what this does. But uh, the next video I'm going to have is it's going to be fancy zones in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So but again, if you want to know about multitasking in Windows 11, I do have a video coming up for that as well. So make sure to check that out if you are using Windows 11. Uh, but this has been multitasking in Windows 10. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. There's a lot to it. Uh, but once you figure it out and get uh, accustomed to it, it does do quite a lot and allows you to probably do what you've been wanting to do for a while, but we're just maybe kind of doing it in an unorthodox way, I guess, so to speak. But now, again, a lot of this feature, a lot of these features are built into Windows and you can leverage those features by just kind of learning and practicing on how to do it. So, um, but yeah, thank you for watching. That's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care and until next time.